point for Frank. Just yeah. like for me too. Isn't that right, Stephanie? The room is spinning. The room is spinning. Well, you know what? It just so happens that I'm going to be the lead in Stephanie's newest sketch. Right, buddy? <laughs>
If you answered yes to any of these questions, you may be suffering from acute chronic obstructive adult flatulence disorder. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Luckily for you, there is bowel pain. <gasps> bowel pain is an addictive, non-habit forming treatment for acute chronic obstructive adult flatulence disorder. <laughs> Studies show that 15% of patients see results in as little as three weeks. But don't take my word for it. Before I started using Baldine, I used to have to give myself an enema every time I wanted to poop. But no more hot water shooting up my hooter. Now I just take me about seven or eight of these Baldines. Thanks, Baldine! <laughs> Baldine is not for everyone. <laughs> Consult your doctor before starting Baldine. Yeah. Baldine may cause acne, lymphoma, and erectile dysfunction in severe intestinal gas pains. Mothers who are pregnant or nursing should not take Baldine, as it has been shown to cause death in infants during the lab study. If you develop anal bleeding or a leakage, do not contact your doctor as these symptoms are normal. If you want to reach out to him, just see how his day is going. That might be a really nice thing for you to do. I mean, the guy really works ridiculous hours. It might be a nice thing to hear from him, who's somebody who's not complaining for the moment. One, although one in, one in rare, one in 16 patients have experienced temporary blindness and vivid hallucinations. In the event of a severe hallucination, con contact your, the, your shaman who can guide you to your spirit animal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now with Dick for Baldine. Happy farting. <laughs> Sims won't like this sermon, but I really hope that you did. To 
today's sermon was brought to us from the Gospel of St. Mixima. Please join me next Sunday morning here at the Church of the Mediator, where I will be reading from the book of the prophet Tupac and the letters that he wrote to his dear mama. May the boy be with you all! Uh, all right, guys, so uh, we went touring down in Mexico, and short story long, we were in Juarez, and I got a really good deal on a rocket, so we gave a bunch of barbiturates and basically a roofie colada to James and strapped him to the rocket. Mexican Nash is pretty sweet. All we have to do in return is get a weather report, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Live from space, with the local weather report for Earth, here's James! <laughs> this is the fucking shh! What? <laughs> Well, judging by how fast you're running through a situation, I'm guessing you're a late buddy. Oh, God damn it. How you doing, James? What's going on? Cheating, 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 what's going on? Oh, okay. So, you remember how you told us that you always wanted to try to no, do that when no, the party? No, I don't do any of that. You're super drunk. Well, you were going on and on about how hot the Mexican weather forecast was. That doesn't sound like me. That sounds stupid. And so you were like, like, oh, maybe if I did the weather stupid. too. So I did some stupid thing. I said some stupid thing to you, and now I'm here. That doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't bring us to, to here. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? What's, what's happening? What do I have to do? Well, the good news <laughs> is, is you are oh, now going to be reporting on the weather, buddy. Weather what? from space. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't want to hyperventilate, you do have a limited oxygen. Okay, are you with me? Now, if you look up and to the right, you should see the planet Earth. Yeah, you, the visor can go up, but don't take that helmet off. Who's gonna put this off? I can't put this off! No, don't take it off. Bad things happen. God damn it! Alright, James, I need, I need the weather report for Earth. Otherwise, the, uh, listen, the cartel is not nice about these things. They really want this weather report. Okay, where's your... Top right. Alright, so Earth, so Earth, 
as it looks from here. Uh, so, um, it's, it's round and it seems to be uh, uh, 60 percent blue and 40 percent green. Uh, it seems like it's floating in the vast expanse of nothingness and the vast expanse of nothing looks, looks really, really cold. It looks terrifyingly cold. It looks terrifying. Uh, and there's lots of things just shooting at me. I think they're asteroids. I think that's what they call them, but they're shooting at me. And there's, there's things going at me in space. Uh, Earth looks very much more pleasant. Uh, but Earth is floating. Well, you heard them, guys. Make sure to wear an extra jacket. You might need an umbrella for those little asteroids, too. Okay, shut up! Hey, James, thanks for the report, buddy. We really appreciate it. And, um... Um, All right, so it's round enjoy the one-way flight, buddy. It's flat. It's <laughs> uh, so Earth is flat and it's round. So the number you have dialed. <laughs> what do you mean the number I've dialed? I have the number to dial. Like, wait, wait, just bring me back. Just like try to be more, whatever that that is. Just like, bring me back into the, the like, stratosphere or the atmosphere. I don't know what that is. Just bring me the fuck back. Bring me back. What is it? Just, just bring back. God damn 